afternoon, ladies and gentle fish. Welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts. Um, if you were watching last, just whatever, what day that was, like a day and a half ago, yeah, that. Um, all we did, or all we've missed since then, is there was a cutscene between Kairi and Riku and Sora that was kind of deep about leaving the island and what they want to do with their lives. Blah blah blah. Oh, we are. What do we do? Yeah. Well, there is, but only for later. Anyway. And then there was another scene with Goofy and Donald at the pa at Mickey's palace because if you know anything about the game, um, they eventually become your traveling companions, but Mickey has gone missing. So, people are freaking out in Mickey's palace. Aww, look at the cute little drawing. Oh, I got a mushroom. Aww, childhood friend zone. Cutscene. Okay, so the cutscene had this creeper who's standing right beyond this tree right there. And he was explaining how this world that I'm in, that Sora's in, has now been connected to the darkness and will be totally eclipsed, blah blah blah. And he had an emotional moment with a, a rock. Because he has a huge thing for Kyrie. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. I think I can get up there. I'm pretty sure I can get that was fun. Sorry, I was playing Tomb Raider this morning, so... Eh, there we go. But since I was playing Tomb Raider, that makes this so much harder. Oh. Oh. Oh, the giant star. Uh, just so you know, this is where you get to have like a race against Riku for your girly friend thing. <laughs> there she is. Because if you go through here... Ooh, another shroom! I'm not sure what those are used for, I forgot. So, we'll find out together! Isn't that exciting? Yeah, because if you go through the door that Kyrie is standing by, like that, this door on the seashore, if you go through it, it brings you to the start of this raft running obstacle course battle with Riku, because he's standing right there. Excalibur for you Soul Eater fan. Uh. Well, since this is for the hyena page. Oh, oops. I have to go back it up. We will name it. There, we'll name it the hyena. I know, I'm so creative. <coughs> oh, well. Whatever. Take any route you want. Blah blah blah. Do this obstacle course. And get the star So, in the little cutscene before this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Anyway, in the little cutscene before this, Riku and Sora have a moment where they're talking about if putting some some stakes on there. Here, oh, I don't remember how zip line. Well, that's the problem. Anyway, um. Oh, 
<laughs> the controls for this game. Wow. Fuck. Oh, you fucking brother. Oh my. oh my god. Okay. One more time. One more time. No, you fucking there. <coughs> Dishonor on your whole fucking family. try this again. Probably will have another miserable fail, but oh, fucking dick! I knew it was coming, too. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Just keep running. Just keep running. Probably touch that fucking checkpoint. There. There's a Jumping like an art hard anymore. Go, 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 you little shit. No, God forbid I have a sprint button. Fucking there. I win. Win. Eat it. Oh, I got a pretty rock. I can't remember what those were. Anyway. Back to business. Hmm. I don't know what I am supposed to do right now. Let's see. I'm gonna talk to Titus. I suppose I could talk to her. I don't remember the name. I wonder what Pavu is supposed to be equivalent to, like a papaya or. Oh, cute. I have a huge crush on somebody and I'm also being told about this magical fruit. Coincidence? Probably. Obviously. Sorry, I'm so sniffly, guys. I don't know what's come over me. Because I, I believe now there's like one more thing that I have to do, and then basically this whole place becomes overrun, and you never get to be here again. Which is fine, because I mean this world is about the size of my pocket. Meow. So we'll go back over here because I have a feeling I have to talk to Kyrie. Because you know, I have to talk to Kyrie about everything. I shouldn't make fun of him for that just because I I talk to my mushroom. My significant other all the time, every day, about everything. I mean everything. It's like when you're. Oh, <gasps> how would I do that? Well, that's good to know. Anyway, but when you are with somebody for a long time. And you love them very much, you tell them everything, including bowel movements, what you were thinking about that day during those bowel movements. Love is a strange thing. Oh, oh, I guess I'm supposed to get things for the raft. I was paying attention. So we need one single egg, two coconuts, three fish, and drinking water. Okay. Is there anything else back here? No, there's just a mushroom. So I wonder how does go fishing? Oh, the picket fence I guess is where I can't go past.
plant. I already know where the seagull egg is, just because I spent a merciless amount of hours looking for it the last time I played this game. Smash it! I want to smash it with a hammer! Yes, it's like... By the way, I have a hunch, and as you should all have a hunch while playing this game, that Riku also has a thing for Kairi, you'd be correct. The difference is Sora is a big hearted sweetheart, and Riku is an angsty, angsty dick waffle. No! No! Get back here! Yay! I need another fish. Where's another fish? Right here. There you are. Come here! Yeah! Two fish. Red fish, blue fish. I bet this is where I get the drinking water. Yeah! Oh, for two. See? There it is. Up there. I need it. I remember correctly. I have to jump ah, Jump on. This. This tree, because you can't fucking just like jump from tree to tree. There we go. Seagull egg. What was the other thing? I don't remember the other thing. Oh, coconuts. I need two coconuts. Oh, what the? A poo poo fruit. I know because it's star shaped and that's what I drew on the wall. I love how everything that you do on this island is basically a scavenger hunt. It's okay because you don't do much of this later in the game. Quiet computer. Apparently, I have updates, which is not surprising because I'm pretty sure the same update they're the same updates I've had for like a week and a half. I just haven't done. Fuck! Am I supposed to get these coconuts? Must be. I suppose they're probably on these trees, but. If I were a coconut, where would I be? You put the line in the coconut. I haven't heard that song in a really long time. Sweet! I can't get over Sora's clown feet. <laughs> and it's funny because as you play the game, you just feel like your feet are huge. I wish I could climb trees that easily. I can't because my coordination is garbage. Where the flipping fuck are these coconuts? Fucking coconut has got to be around here somewhere. What the actual fuck? Okay, so I don't think that the coconut the coconuts are up there but maybe maybe I like <sighs> for a second I thought that was gonna break oh but there's a thing up there let's let's do things maybe you can throw it as long as you don't break it oh yeah Hello! Oh, the chain. Okay, well, I mean, it's something at least. Where the fuck are these fucking coconuts?
realize my microphone died. Anyway, um, so, through the secret door. Oh no! She's been drugged. Just kidding. Yeah. Friends out. Well, hello. Yep, we get to fight him again. Something about your inner demons and shit. Rawr. Rawr. Attack one point. I don't even know what that means, not really. Run and run in circles. Oh, he's gonna summon the dark side now. Fuck you. Just die. No. 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 No, no. Oh, fuck your feelings. Oh, also, my advice to you is to not use your potions and to just kill Heartless if you need health. Because potions are extremely valuable. And you don't want to waste them here. Run and run in circles. Run away. Don't get hit by the orbs. They actually hurt a little this time. Get out of my way. Eh. Come on. Get on your knees and make me let me hit you. Tired of your shit. They're so darkly glowy. They are really pretty. They look like galaxy orbs, which is pretty legit. Hey, I did it! Goodbye, cruel world! Probably going to into the deep depths of space. Do you remember what's next? That's okay though, because we'll find out together. Look, it's Poofy. Oh, they're in Traverse Town, which is, you know, if you if you play any of the Final Fantasy games, Traverse Town is definitely a Final Fantasy world. But I believe now we switch to Donald and Goofy and Pluto. Cause we're looking for Leon, which also if you play Final Fantasy, Leon's in Final Fantasy. If you ever want to describe this game in a sentence, just tell people it's if Final Fantasy and Disney had a baby. Cause it is. It's uh, it's all the drama of Final Fantasy and the <gasps> oh my goodness soap opera storyline with Disney characters and places. Which is, it's fine because it's comedic relief. Because if you play Final Fantasy, it is just so heavy all the time. For those of you who have played Final Fantasy VII, Aerith, we all know, made you cry. So, I won't, there isn't anything that emotionally distressing in this game. Just close to it, that's all. But it's hard to get that emotionally distressing when you have Mickey running around and Goofy because how, how do you stay sad around them? Look at, look at that face. Okay. Now we're gonna find a save booble and then I will call it a day. 
Oh damn, everybody's here. I'm in another world! Oh, it's a Moodle! Look how cute he is. Isn't he cute? I don't want to talk to the Moodle. I don't want to kill him. Just talk to him. Yay! I am looking for somebody, but it's not you. Oh my god. If you're totally wondering, yes, there's a secret behind the candles. I can't remember what it is, but you need to use magic. I can't remember what kind of magic. Ah. Uh, but you only have so much time. No. Die. Die. Go out. Anyway, but it, there should be a magic thing that you do that gets it. Ooh, hello. Well, yeah, I know. Thank you for explaining what I just explained. Useless. That door leaves the town. Eh. Mailbox! Oh, you can send postcards. That's cool. Accessory shop. Oh, I bet this is where all the noodles are. Oh, it's a creed mark. <gasps> and a save Google. I'm not a kid. Yeah, you are. What are you, like, eight? Because in the second one, he looks 12. Oh, hi, Sid. Long time no see. Where's your spaceship? I know it's not a spaceship. Don't yell at me. There we go. As you can see, there was a lot of cutscenes. I've been playing this for almost an hour. Yes, I'm over editing the same file because I do not want to go back to that island. Like, ever. 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 Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll do some more interesting stuff because we'll find Leon and we'll get to actually fight some real Heartless for a while. No more scavenger hunts! At least for a while. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!